One day after holding historic talks in China, Taiwan's Wang Yuqi visited the tomb of Sun Yat-sen. At the site, which is popular with tourists in China, he talked about how Sun established the first democratic republic in Asia in 1911, and how his government in Taiwan has made Sun's political vision a reality. He also said Tuesday's meeting in Nanjing opened up a new chapter for ties between Taiwan and China. The priority for the future is for the two sides to acknowledge each other and resolve problems with a pragmatic approach so we can set up a stable, cross-strait relations in the future. This will be of benefit to the people across the strait and make the Taiwan Strait a strait of peace and cooperation. The burial ground for Sun Yat-sen in Nanjing is one of several sites in the city that are closely linked to the shared past of China's Communist Party and the party that is now in power in Taiwan, the Nationalists. Not far away from Sun's burial is the former presidential office of Chiang Kai-shek, which is now a museum of modern Chinese history. Zhang's Nationalists lost a civil war with Mao Zedong's Communists in the late 1940s and fled to Taiwan. The choice of holding Taiwan and China's first talks in 65 years in Nanjing is full of symbolic meaning for both sides, and a good choice for Taipei, says political scientist Joseph Chung. The nationalist government first established the capital in Nanjing, so this is much more acceptable uh, from Taipei's point of view, and certainly one can refer to the fond memories of uh, Dr. Sun Yat-sen in Nanjing especially. Um, being able to avoid Beijing is a very, very small victory on the part of Taipei. During talks Tuesday, the two sides did not reach any formal agreements, but they did highlight the fact that they could meet as equals was a step forward. Wang has invited his Chinese counterpart to visit Taiwan in the near future, but no date for that visit has been set. Bill Eyde, VOA News, Nanjing.